Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Costa Channel here, don't cast a warm but both for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're focusing on SeaWorld San Diego in California, where we've got a brand new update on the Wild Arctic replacement with an Intamin multi launch family coaster. Been a while since an update on this one. But we have something new to talk about this one. Now, before we get started, guys, please like, comment, subscribe, click the case boss name YouTube video. Make sure you use description down below where you can use uh, the Google Forms link where you can submit your own ideas for the channel and also the social media links also in the description down below. And for now, guys, let's talk about the newest update around SeaWorld San Diego. Is the Intamin multi launch project replacing Wild Arctic coming back from underneath the ice? Let's find out. So this is from Screamscape, uh, with a post shared by Parkfans.net, also known as at Parkfans Network on Twitter, so go give them a follow. Uh, so, before the COVID pandemic reared its ugly head, the COVID uh, Seawall San Diego was working on plans for what appeared to be a multi-launch terrain coaster from Intamin that would use the former Wild Arctic Simulator building as a station and queue. The Arctic theme was expected to stay with a ride room to be themed around a wild snowmobile through themed coaster ride experience through a frozen landscape. The project was shelved for the time being uh, due to COVID and we feared that might be the last we saw of it. While we don't have any evidence to back this up yet, the tweet from parkfans.net does indicate that the project may be active once again. While they believe it could open as early as 2023, with Emperor not opening till spring 2022, of course that would confirmed as well and if there's still extensive landscaping to be done for the project i'm thinking this could end up being a 2024 project anyone else know more says screamscape and park for those of you wondering what parkfans.net put out on their social media this is what they said breaking we have now seen evidence showing the progress is resumed on the intimate family launch coaster that was originally planned to debut in 2021 at SeaWorld San Diego. A 2023 opening seems very likely. Unfamiliar with this project, and of course they linked the uh, article about the project that they did um, about the coaster. So it's a very interesting update there from SeaWorld San Diego. Now let's share my thoughts on the project and what's happening at the minute. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is speaking about SeaWorld San Diego. As you can see behind me, I've got a bit of uh, footage from the other Intamin multi launch family coaster in the SeaWorld chain, the more modern ones, of course. Wave Breaker, the rescue coaster at SeaWorld San Antonio in the background there. You love it or hate it, you're just going to love the background. Uh, but the reason why I put Wave Breaker in the background uh, of these clips in this video is because that is the coast we can relate this to the most. Wave Breaker, it's SeaWorld San Diego's version of Wave Breaker the Rescue Coaster. That is what we're looking at here. Uh, now, do I think this project's still alive? Absolutely. What do I, when do I think it'll open? It's a hard one. Parkfans.net saying 2023, with Emperor not opening till spring 2022. Maybe there's a hint of 2024 in the works. It's very uncertain at the moment, but if rumours are what to be believed, 2023 could seem very likely. It should be interesting though, whether it's 2023 or 2024, will they take a year off with Emperor being delayed till spring 2022, which of course, the B&M dive coaster. Bologram Mabillard. So, it should be interesting to see what happens with that. Comment down below what you think. Be interested to know your thoughts. But for now guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep them the coast alive. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.